G'day scientists! Today the James Webb Telescope was launched. To celebrate, I'm reviewing two kits to teach your young scientists all about space. Ok, first up the Galt Space Lab Science Kit. It cost me $30 from Amazon. Right, let's open it up and see what's inside. We have a plastic bottle, a bag of instructions, some plastic sheets, a rocket top, some straws, and here are some lenses, some glow-in-the-dark stars, and some slime powder. Let's open up this bag and check the contents. There's a notepad, the instruction book, a star chart with the constellations on, some press outs with the planets from our own solar system, and some aliens. It looks like some posters with constellations on, and some cardboard with fold lines on. The instruction manual is just like the other GOAT ones, colourful and providing small pieces of science trivia through it. Let's check out one of the activities and get started. We're going to assemble some of the constellations onto this poster of Pegasus the flying horse using the glow in the dark stars, some straws and the white tack that comes with the kit. The process is pretty simple. You use the tack to stick the stars to the poster and then join them together using the plastic joining links and some straws that are cut to size. What I love about the constellations is they're a mix of science, history and storytelling. It makes it a really interesting way to get young scientists interested in a science subject that is actually pretty complicated. There we go, one finished Pegasus constellation. These glow-in-the-dark stars charge up during the day in the sunlight and at night time glow gently. It would make a lovely addition to a young scientist's wall, especially if they started to show an interest in space. Ok, let's pick another activity from this kit, and as it's the week of the launch of the James Webb Telescope, let's make a telescope. To make this, I take all of the cardboard pieces, press them out and fold them as indicated. Then using some sticky tape that is not provided, I attach a series of lenses to each of the circular pieces of card. Then these cardboard pieces fold into tubes, and the lenses stick on either end of the tubes. Finally, the two tubes slide into one another and we get a telescope. It looks a bit like the one that Captain Hook uses in Peter Pan rather than the $10 billion James Webb telescope, but it's still a neat demonstration of how lenses can be chained together to achieve a magnification result. It's a bit hard to see the result through the camera, but you can see how I am zooming in on a tree opposite my house. This kit has a lot of activities in it, all aimed at the youngest of scientists. It combines together nicely art, craft, history and science. It should provide plenty of inspiration for scientists that are just starting to learn about space. I'm going to give the Galt Space Lab Science Kit 2 stars for fun, 1 star for price, 2 stars for learning. Bye or bye bye? It's a bye. This was a fun kit with a variety of activities. Right, next up I have the Jack in the Box space themed STEM educational craft toy. It cost me $29.99 from Amazon. Right, let's open it up and see what's inside. The box is cool, it's got an artisan type feel to it, super hipster. I'm already a bit worried now, I bought it from Amazon because it said STEM educational, but now I see that it looks like the emphasis is on craft. I don't mind that, I just hope that there's some actual science in here. Yup, the inside is cool too, nicely wrapped. Let's check out the instructions. Ok, they look good, but already I'm not convinced there is going to be much learning going on from a science point of view. Let's try a few of the activities and see what we think. I'm going to start with the solar system mobile. Basically, I have to press out all the planets in our solar system, then I have these little accessories to attach to each of the planets. The accessories correspond to properties that each of the planets have. I like this, it's going to teach you a little bit about the planets as we add them on. First up we have Mercury, which is super hot, so I'm attaching the hot breath accessory to Mercury. Next let's check out Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest of the planets, so we attach the strong man arms to Jupiter. Venus is the brightest planet, so it gets the crown. Hmm, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Saturn has the rings around it, Earth has life, so it gets the cute little plant. And Uranus, which looks remarkably like Venus, gets the gassy cloud. This goes on, I'm frustrated because some of the matches are good, others feel a little far-fetched to me. Next, we attach the planets to the mobile in order from the sun, shortest string to longest. While you're watching me assemble this, hit the like button if you found this useful, then subscribe and sign up for notifications 
so that you know when I'm next reviewing a science toy. It's finished and looks like this. It's quite cute, but I think more of an effort could have been made to incorporate science into this and perhaps make it a little less cluttered too. Okay, next activity is the kaleidoscope. I'm not mega convinced this has anything at all to do with space, but I'm going to make it anyway. We need more tape for this one and these cool mirror sheets. Actually, the quality of this kit is pretty good. These mirrors are solid. Let's fold them up into a kaleidoscope shape and tape them together like this. Next, I take this piece of tissue paper and seal the end of the tube with more tape. Then I tip the stars, ah, there's the tenuous space science link, into the tube and use the plastic sheet to seal the other end of the tube. There we have it, a completed kaleidoscope. This is what it looks like through the end. It looks okay, not the best kaleidoscope and really nothing to do with space at all. The build quality of this kit was cool and if you're looking for crafty, space-oriented things to do, this would probably have been okay. But this is a STEM kit channel and some of the science in this kit was super light to the point of being non-existent. It was fun though and that might be enough to spark some inspiration and enthusiasm. I am going to give the Jack in the Box space themed STEM educational craft toy two stars for fun, one star for price and one star for learning. Bye or bye bye. It's a bye bye. More crafty than sciencey and this is a science channel. Sorry. What a mixture of space science kits. If you want to see something a bit closer to home, I really think you should check out these weather toys reviews, see what this does, and then find out which ones I recommend.